last day of my second trimester and I saw my ob today and then she's like, this is the beginning of the end. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just trying to be so present and enjoy every day. And I just like have these moments of just like bliss that I'm pregnant. Um, yeah, so. parts of her ear coincide with different parts of her body and there's like problem areas I have are TMJ headaches so she did that but I it's so cool it's like really similar to acupuncture it's like these really really tiny gold gold seeds but they're also really pretty just got done with this parallel event it was at the Palisades Village in the Palisades. I absolutely love this neighborhood. It is like me and Kellen's dream neighborhood in the future. There is an air one here, which is perfect. You know I had to run in and get some snacks. And I also got my matcha kato smoothie, which is one of my favorite smoothies from air one. But like during my pregnancy, I like cut off caffeine. So I haven't been drinking coffee, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna allow myself to drink some matcha. Um, and then we are gonna go home right now and then basically just get some work done. This is a game that we play. How long is it gonna take me to get home? Also, I'm like so late in the game. I just started listening to Taylor Swift's album. I know it came out a really long time ago and I've been playing it on repeat. Okay, I'm just stalling. Okay, let's get going. Let's hit the road. I feel like I got this ice roller at the perfect time. I got it from Amazon. This is Project E Beauty. And it feels so good. Oh my goodness. This is incredible. And I feel like it just wakes you right up, obviously, because it is so cold and cool to the touch. I obviously, not obviously, but I did my skincare, so my, I'm not just gliding on like dry. I'm wearing everything Skims today. I'm wearing the Skims fits everybody bra, fits everybody dress, and like it is in the name, it is just so comfortable. I also feel like since I found out I'm gonna be a girl mom, I've been gravitating so much towards the color pink, like pink, okay? Pink. She is growing, we are 27 weeks today. A lot of mixed emotions. I'm like, oh no, time is going by so fast, but I'm also like so excited to meet the bebe, so. I want to show you guys this last piece of my outfit. This is a bolero from Sammy Miro. It's so cute. It also has these um, shoulder pads you can add in, but it was looking like a little too much, so it was detachable, so I take it out. The sleeves are so cute. Today's video is sponsored by Lexus USA, and I'm so excited to be partnering with them because my family is a Lexus family. My parents have been consistent Lexus drivers for years and years, meaning, I've been able to appreciate the company's brave designs, imaginative technology, and performance. And for me, driving is an experience and the car makes all the difference. I recently switched over to electric vehicle and it was one of the best decisions I ever made. But instead of focusing on a trend, Lexus is really focused on the legacy of progress. The Lexus electrified movement is focused on sustainability and quality while delivering that comfort, luxury, performance, and safety that Lexus is known for. Did you know there are different types of electrified vehicles that Lexus offers to suit each individual's preferences? There are hybrids like the Lexus RX 500H, which uses both a self-charging electric powertrain and a gas engine to allow for better overall performance. Then there are plug-in hybrids like the Lexus NX Plug-in Hybrid EV, which offer similar benefits as a standard hybrid and can be charged in public or conveniently at home. Finally, we have Battery Electric, which is the one I have. Welcome to never having to fill up again. Never. Fully electric vehicles like the all-new Lexus RZ are powered by long-range batteries, amazing acceleration, and all-wheel drive agility. I honestly love the RZ because I'm an SUV and electric vehicle girl. The sleek, clean, and modern design just speaks to me. 
I am impressed with their electrical vehicle lineup and I am excited to see what they release next. Be sure to visit Lexus.com slash electrified to see how Lexus is shipping the industry with their electrified lineup. I am in my just like embracing my Korean culture era. I also read today on the bump that at this point that our baby girl can also taste the foods that I'm eating, she has taste buds. And all I've been craving is Korean food. So I'm like, get it sis. Like I really feel like all the baby wants to eat is Korean food. I don't know if she's affecting my taste buds, but for the past, consecutive days of just ate Korean food. And since our baby girl is going to be a Hapa baby, she's gonna be half Korean because of me. And then she's gonna be a quarter white and a quarter black. Cause even though Kellen, you cannot tell, he's half black. So I'm really excited to see like what our baby's gonna look like. It's gonna be a lot, a lot mixed in there. But since she is gonna be half Korean, I just wanna be like really mindful that we integrate a lot of like Korean culture into her life. I think that will be really helpful with obviously my parents. And I speak fluent Korean, but I, if I'm not with my parents, I don't ever, I don't ever, ever speak in Korean. I feel like watching Korean drama actually really helps brush up my Korean. During my high school, I went through a big phase of like K-pop, K-drama. Watching Korean dramas, reading the subtitles, I feel like that actually helped a lot. I want our daughter to speak Korean as well. So it is just a Korean moment right now. Also, how cute are our Fornicetti plates back here? We finally hung them up. We've like had this collection. We started building the collection back in our West Hollywood apartment. Let me show you guys, it's so cute. So I love these Fornicetti plates. We have five right now. And I just wanna keep collecting. That's a bit bad. You know my air fryers were so hot for a little bit, so I really wanted one and then Kellen did research and we got this one which is the Breville Jewel. And this is like one of our favorite freaking purchases. We use it so much. So the functionalities it has is toast, bagel, bake, air fry, broil, roast, pizza, cookies, proof, reheat, slow cook, keep warm, dehydrate. I don't know how to dehydrate. But literally, I use this thing every single day, whether it's like to make my sweet potatoes or toast my bread or like i got this yesterday which i really over order but it's tikim which is just fried tempura and i got a lot and in the past i wouldn't have ordered this because if you deliver this it's gonna be so soggy but since we have the air fryer it's like makes it literally like you just made it it's like so nice and fresh. Go in like waves of like where we delete Postmates and then we re-download it. I don't know how to cook any Korean food and I know that like if I just look it up, I'm sure it's not that hard. People are always like Korean food has a lot of the same base that you use kind of like over and over again. Like a part of me, I'm like, I feel guilty, but at the same time, I'm like, I gotta feed my body. I'm just gonna eat. Okay, so 
so I'm gonna get ready right now and I woke up so bloated this morning because last night I was watching a Korean drama and let me tell you guys I feel like it's like the hormones are so real like it's like the scene isn't even like a very sad scene or it's like a romance scene and I'm just like bawling like my pillow was like so wet because I was leaning on a pillow and it just got so wet and like I was just wiping my eyes the entire time so I feel really really bloated this morning I've actually been really on top of doing my belly oil and my belly creams and my belly bombs just to make sure I don't get any stretch marks basically I do it twice a day but the bump is really really growing so I keep a pregnancy journal and this is like one of my favorite things to do I saw Desi Perkins post about it and I was like I love it so I basically started right as my second trimester kicked off you basically write it as though you're talking to your baby so it's really sweet and so nice to look on and it's just it's also really cute because at the beginning of the second trimester i remember feeling like oh my god like my belly is so big and i look at the photos of it and it just looks like i just had a meal it was so small it's so cute Get the orange soda, it's amazing. Okay. What would you ladies like to drink? Orange soda, please. I'll have the strawberry soda. Happy Saturday. Today, like literally, the weather could not be more perfect. I don't know why she's so funny to me. You're funny, Babs. We are using our outdoor table as our dining table at the moment because we are redoing everything. It's a bunch of chairs. I laid this towel out for Willow so she can sunbathe. Kellen just got home from his Hong Kong trip and I am the resident packer and unpacker. I actually really don't mind it, but also this is so funny. It's just the way he took off his shoes and left them there. <laughs> So this is my office bathroom. You guys have never been in here before. First time. So we are starting to get all of, not all, but a lot of the items from our baby registry and our nursery is, we haven't started on the nursery. So all the nursery things that are on standby at the moment. We have four bedrooms and then one is my office, our bedroom, Kellen's office and the gym. I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy. I got so little sleep last night. I'm fighting the sleep right now. Moving in Kellen's office to the gym switching rooms and then Kellen's office will become the nursery. Clearly we have not started on any of that, but I'm so excited because I just told Kellen the theme of our nursery is going to be on cloud nine because we like love clouds. So I'm excited to see it just all come together. It's going to be so cute guys. It's going to be so cute. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Okay, I feel like this fits really on because like the top part is so loose and then like, the belly part is so tight. What is going on? Okay, I finally got to figure it out, but it's a really awkward fit because like it's so loose up here. Like it has all this fabric. My belly is so tight. Like she barely fits in here. 